Hi everyone and welcome back to our last video about the backyard makeover. Um, we'll start here for those of you who aren't familiar with our M105 trailer which we converted into a camper. Um, we'll point out a few things as you look around um, just to take note of because we incorporated a lot of the details into our bar. So if you'll notice um, the wood panels, all of this is upcycled by the way. Um, as well as the windows and the metal roof, uh, the back doors, the solar lights, and the jerry can. And now I welcome you to our backyard oasis. Uh, this is our entrance. We've always wanted one of these. So here we have it. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through literally um, I'll start by showing you these um, the stones. We actually, this is a labor of love. <laughs> we picked them piece one by one, loaded them into the truck, unloaded them, placed them. So um, we're very proud of even every rock. <laughs> so, um, and then our big slab of slate. Um, I just love this. And you know, the best part of this is that everything is upcycled. Um, we've just used materials that we found, you know, my husband in particular, at job sites, etc. So, um, come on, let's show you the rest. So, as we start here, we have our little, this is um, turtle territory. <laughs> this is our dog's um, little run area. We, we wanted to have a separate place for him uh, to be, you know, in private while we're all out here. So, we built the fence using bamboo, which I think came out awesome. Um, really time consuming piece by piece, but it was well worth it. And our solar lanterns, our little um, mason jars in different colors. So they, um, they look really neat at night. Um, actually the kids kind of call it like fireflies in the, in the, in the jars because the lights um, look really neat inside. So then we come over here to the kids favorite part this will be their amusement park for the summer we knew we had to do something being that these aren't typical times so we got a swing set um, brand new to them the kids love the swings thank you Uncle Ray awesome thank you Uncle Ray thank you Uncle Ray wow uh, we added some additional accessories and such to make it like a pirate ship uh, we got this new, it'll be like their little toy house. Uh, they are having tea parties. Um, and actually, we found it. Um, <laughs> if you could believe it, um, around the corner, uh, it's brand new, um, but they got like a swimming pool. So <laughs> we lucked out. Um, so this is the kids' area. Eventually, we're going to try to put like a little sandbox in the bottom there. Um, but for right now, it's in pretty good shape. So this leads us to our seating area, um, the main uh, area here for gatherings. Um, this actually we built, it wasn't during this makeover, it was um, a couple of years back, but we have this humongous tree back here, which is gorgeous. But because of that, we haven't had any, been able to grow anything. So uh, with no grass, the, you know, we kind of lost interest back here. So even though we had this beautiful fire pit, we, um, we kind of let it go. So now we're back and we've made it beautiful again. Um, this is the inside of a dryer, um, actually, <laughs> if you see. Um, so yeah, my husband had this idea to make a fire pit out of a dryer. <laughs> so it works amazing. Um, Again, these were all stones that we found and we placed. Um, and then you know, our furniture, really comfy cushions. Um, oh, and if you go look back here, we have this new sun. Um, I've been wanting something for that spot. And <laughs> my husband came home with that and it's just perfect. Um, these were all things that were found. So uh, to me, it's making it more special is, you know, you find these items and you keep the life going on. Uh, so if you come over here to our big tree that I was telling you about, um, it's really interesting. If you look at the face in the tree, um, that came from my father. 
actually, because he had it in his tree, and unfortunately the tree had to be cut down, so he gave it to us, and the first tree we put it on, unfortunately, had to be cut down. So now it's on here, and this tree, um, as I mentioned before, it needed some work. So we had just had two major branches cut off. Um, you can see that in another one of our videos, as the cranes came and like took it over the house. Um, it was the entertainment of the whole block. <laughs> so uh, that was a pretty big deal, but we did have them leave these two branches so that we could attach, leave our swing uh, that we got in Cuba here. Um, it's just another really neat uh, thing for the kids to play on. They can swing around and stuff. <laughs> You want to watch something really crazy? Look at Delilah's eyes after. <laughs> All right, so now this leads us to um, an area I'm proud to present is our camper-inspired bar and grill area. Um, everything that we've done here is made to resemble our camper. From the, from the roof, which mimics our, the camper, to even the gas strut windows. Um, of course, we replaced the glass with screens. Um, but they're just so fun. Um, not really functional, but they're just so fun. Then we, one of my favorite parts, we did the, um, the colors of the camper. Uh, so we copied the same thing. And we even put, of course, we have to have a jerry can. Uh, so this one here, we have a, um, a first aid kit in it. So functional and pretty. <laughs> um, so this, is our authentic jerry can um, in, with the American flag and all. All of the beams are um, black cherry stained. Um, and, oh, I just love this. I have to point this out while we're here. <laughs> our nice little bottle opener. Um, actually, and, and that's on this side. And on the other side, we have a wine opener, which um, this is just one of my favorite pieces. Again, this was found. We mounted it here at the bar, um, which brings us down to our black walnut counter, which is live edge wood, which resembles the kitchen in our camper. Uh, the first counter that we had didn't quite work out, which everything happens for a reason, because we're really happy with this one. <laughs> All right, so this job, I mean, this is amazing. Love the color and uh, he's the man who made it happen. So, uh, Brandon, tell us so about my yourself. My name is Brandon Copans. I own Creative Works in Rochelle Park, New Jersey, and it's a mill workshop. We make moldings, and in this particular case, we flat jointed and thickness plane some beautiful slab walnut. And you can see this is definitely air dried. It has the sapwood, has that white poly color and the gorgeous heart grain. Look at the feather in here, it's beautiful. So this is one thing we really enjoy doing. And unfortunately you can't smell it the way we can right now, but it, it's, it has a really wonderful aroma here in the room with us. So that's uh, pretty much it. If people has, want to do some custom work, where can they? Uh... They can visit us on the web at woodenmoldings.com or on Instagram at Brandon Copans. You can see some of my artwork on Instagram as well. All right, well, definitely gotta check him out. He <laughs> is an amazing shop here. And uh, you would not be disappointed.
It is amazing. Okay, so now as we enter the bar, uh, we see the stainless steel countertops, which were just amazing. Uh, <laughs> awesome find. And uh, the, everything just worked out really well. Um, the entire frame of the bar is made out of pallets, uh, as you can see. And if you'll notice how tall I am, it's because I'm standing on this. I'm not sure if it's slate or bluestone, but uh, I'll enjoy my height well before it goes in the ground. <laughs> Here we have our doors that again were found just like the ones in the back of our camper, painted the same color. And the pieces that were cut off of the doors we decided to keep and in the original stain or varnish color. And as they're hung, they resemble the tailgate of the camper as well um, with the little slant that they're on the angle, which also happens to keep the bottles on the shelves, but um, they're hung exactly the same way. And we did the doorknobs, and we were able to use the extras for hanging. And here we have our outside refrigerator. Moving right along, we have our basket for drying that we picked up at a garage sale. Our outdoor faucet, just cold water um, that's run from the hose, but we hid it nicely behind that piece of metal. A nice long stainless steel counter which is awesome for just laying out all the foods for our barbecues love these the of course the fryers um, they came out amazing uh, just perfect to hold everything we need for cooking and I mean that that part of recycling is just amazing then our masterpiece is our window, this is another one uh, with the glass in it, that we, all of us did our handprints. So Papa, Mama, and the kids. And uh, that was a lot of fun doing. And that uh, we get to treasure no matter where we go. Um, this is where my husband will be spending most of his summer, <laughs> behind the barbecue. Uh, this is kind of his side, mine is over there. Um, oh, and the fire extinguisher, which we definitely need. We actually put it to use already with the, gre <laughs> with the grease fire. <laughs> so um, that definitely comes in handy. Um, and now if you look up, we have three rows of lighting, uh, again, the solar, powered lighting and it just you know the best part about this is it kind of reminds me of a pavilion that you would find at like a you know a pool or outside facility and when the lights go on at night it's just it becomes really magical we have a couple more really neat finds here which I enjoy these tremendously check one two oh it's on Okay, <laughs> for those of you who are wondering, this isn't a new like fashion piece, it's our new microphone. So I hope it works good. Uh, this concludes our video of the Backyard Makeover. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and thank you all so much for watching. It's really a pleasure to be able to share. Uh, it means a lot to us. So thank you to all of our uh, subscribers, our uh, existing subscribers, all of our new ones. We really can't thank you enough. We appreciate it so much. All right, so please remember to hit all those buttons, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy Fourth! It's done. You like it? Love it. Well, you painted it. <laughs> That's why go. I love it so much, and it's perfect. <laughs>